Bracket to Yahweh, Bracket to Yahweh Shai, Bracket to Yahweh, Bracket to Yahweh Shai, Bracket to Yahweh, Bracket to Yahweh Shai. We want to give all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash, Double honor, small apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the hope for the elect scattered man, Dr. Four Corners, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Okay? Yahweh is the only true name of the Heavenly Father. Which means he is, he exists, he to be. Yahweh Shai is the one and true name of the only begotten Son, which means he saves, he delivers, he is salvation, man. And they're both two, and they're both a so called black man. Yahweh Shai is the um is the head of the head tribe Judah, man. Okay? Israel consists of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, from Judah on down to Issachar. Okay, I want to get into, uh, you know, Abba Rathazar. This is another edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. You know, this is just, um, you know, more madness going on here in Babylon, man. Okay? We got uh, some, 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 I don't even want to call her a woman because the word woman means a female servant. I'm going to just call her this chick, man. Okay? This chick is out here trying to teach and do the work of the Heavenly Father. She's out here on the highways and byways. And I believe the guy in the video is her man. And he's just standing there on the side while this chick is over here supposedly preaching the gospel, man. And that is completely out of order. Okay? Cause this ain't no ain't ain't there was never a female prophet. There would never be a female prophet, man. Women are always constantly trying to usurp authority over men. Women are always trying to rule and lead. The only thing you're supposed to be ruling and leading is in that damn kitchen, man. Okay? If anything, if you want to teach his words, what's the, like the scriptures say, man, I'm, not, I'm going to just bring the scriptures out, man, this is 1 Corinthians 14, I'm going to start from 34, it says, let your woman learn in silence in the churches, okay, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the Lord, that's right, ain't supposed to be no female pastors no female leader that's trying to lead Israel to any damn thing man okay it says and if they will learn anything let them learn let them ask their husbands at home for it is a shame for women to speak in the church so if any woman out there that say they're so called in this truth and they want to learn and serve your how about was shy and you have a man that's in the truth and that's righteous and that's doing the work of the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity according to the scriptures, you're supposed to learn from him. Anything you want to know, you learn from your man. There's nothing wrong with you teaching other women at home, but you ain't supposed to be trying to um, go out on the highways and byways or putting up shows. Stay home, read your Bible, learn from your man. You could teach the kids, you know, or, or you and the other sisters could, you know, congregate together amongst yourselves in home, learning from each other and teaching each other. That's about it. You ain't supposed to be going out there preaching. Show me any female prophets that was in the Bible preaching, man. That's madness. They should got the nerve to have on some type of jeans jacket with fringes on it. I'm like, what the, the hell is going on, man? I don't understand why women want to be men so bad, but then yet they want to be treated like women. That made no damn sense. You want to act like a man. You want to try to think like a man. You want to try to do things that men do, but you want to get treated like a fucking lady? How does that make any sense? And if that's her husband in the video, or even just a, just a man in the truth, he's out of order. How you have another woman have you on a sideline 
preaching the gospel and you just standing there, man. That's some beta shit, yo. This is First Timothy's two. Let's start from eleven. It says, "Let a woman learn in silence with all subjection." But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but be, but to be in silence. A woman ain't supposed to be teaching no man nothing, man, when it comes to this truth. And let's just say you are a sister in the truth, and you ain't got a man, and you need someone to learn from, then you go on the unicorn, the YouTube, look up GMS, or any other camp out there that's like-minded, like GMS, that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. You can learn from those men if you don't have your own man to teach you. There's thousands of videos out there, man, that can answer your questions. Because we got brothers putting up shows 24-7 on the East Coast and on the West Coast, man. And in different countries, man. So there's still no excuse or no reason why you feel like you have to try to usurp authority and go do what a man does. Verse 13, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression because women, man, women, their mindset is like little kids, man. They can easily be manipulated, easily be swayed, man. And that's why the serpent chose to go after Eve and not Adam because the serpent knew that Eve is. The serpent knew that Eve was the weaker vessel because women are the weaker vessel, man, when it compared to men, especially men of the Lord. Okay, and this is why women, this is another reason why women ain't supposed to be trying to do the work. Because they can easily be deceived, man. I came across an article um, where it basically said, like, the new, Manel the new, how you say, Manelium, the new Manelium, when it comes to women, they're all leaving the churches and going towards witchcraft, man. Witchcraft, man. And that just goes to show you how, how easy it is for a woman's mind to be swayed, man. They went from one wickedness to another super wickedness, man. Proverbs. It's Proverbs 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. They don't say unto you, O women, I call. It says unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. The most I call it, call it upon men. Men, not women, men. So why do you women feel you can go out there and try to teach and usurp authority over righteous men that's doing this work in truth and sincerity? This ain't. That's not your position, man. Know your place when it comes to the body. Okay? And I'm gonna end it on this. This this is this is actually one of my favorite um um verses too, man. This is Acts 2 and 21. And this shall come to pass. That whosoever shall call upon the name of your house by streaming that was shy shall be saved. And you have a lot of, you know, wacky tacky Christians who would just read this verse and just leave it, man. One thing they teach you, well, I know one thing that 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 I learned in school is in order to really understand the subject of something, you gotta read the before and the after, not just what's there. See, if they was to continue reading, they'll see who the Most High is talking to. Verse 22, ye men of Israel. It didn't say ye women of Israel. Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. 
Yahawashai of Nazareth, a man approved of the power among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the power did by him in the midst of you as ye yourself also known. So the Most High is dealing with men, men of Israel, the elect of Israel, men. The 144,000. No woman, man. No woman. Any of you women out there that's trying to teach and usurp authority over men and go on the highways and byways, woe unto you because that's against the law, man. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim and Yahushai. Bahashim and Karkwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four corners doing his work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.